Since its debut a few months ago, the new Chromecast with Google TV has become the favorite and go-to streaming dongle for all sorts of people, myself included, because frankly, it's just awesome at delivering content to your screen, gives you a remote, and keeps all the goodness of the original Chromecast experience. But along with that remote and new UI on screen, there are some learning curves to getting around and how you move through all of it. And part of that is learning shortcuts and learning how to leverage your remote and take advantage of some of those shortcuts. And so we've put together a list of our five favorite shortcuts that you can use with your new Chromecast with Google TV. Today's video is brought to you by NordVPN. They're the VPN of choice for millions of consumers because they're awesome at what they do, keeping your browsing safe and secure whether you're at home or out and about. If you'd like to learn more about them and their services, head over to chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN and you can learn more and get started today. Okay, so first off, number one, let's start with a quick shortcut that gets you to your settings menu from wherever you are. So. A lot of you probably know right here at the top, you can go all the way over to the right and into your settings and you can actually change things from right here, log out of your account, that kind of stuff. But what if you're actually in an application? So for instance, what if we're in uh, Netflix, we'll say that, and I need to get back and my Wi-Fi is acting up and I need to quickly jump back. Well, instead of having to go all the way back home and, and cycle through a bunch of stuff, if you just hold the home button for just a second, you'll see that menu pop up there again, click down, and boom, just like that, you're right in your settings. The next tip is for live TV viewing for any of you that leverage YouTube TV on your Chromecast. And what I found is as I was moving through the UI for YouTube TV, things work like you expect them to and you can get around just fine, but I couldn't find how to get back to the live TV view. So from the home screen, you actually have the Google TV live view right here. This isn't YouTube TV. It's what's on YouTube TV, but it's not the same exact thing. So if I click into something like this, and I'm going to pause this so it's not playing in the background, but say I want to get from here back to what else is playing live. I don't want to go all the way back to the home screen and start from scratch and start looking around again. All you have to do is click the back button from this view, click over to live, and you get YouTube TV's live TV stream. And it's super helpful. It's not very intuitive to get here, but once you know that it's there, it's a whole lot easier to jump back and forth between programs that you're you know, looking around and choosing what to watch. In a similar manner, if you're wanting to move between programs that you've just watched, instead of going all the way back to the live view and then looking through the live listings again and trying to find what it was you were trying to look for, if you want to just go right back to what you're watching, like say you're watching a couple different sporting games or something like that, then the easiest way to do that is to actually just click down twice on the remote and you'll be right on the last show. You'll actually see the last few things that you were watching, but you can jump from one thing right to the next really quickly. So we jumped here, so I'm gonna hit down again and I'm right back to HGTV where my wife likes to keep the channel set. Next up is a quick shortcut that can work for anybody, whether you use YouTube TV or not, uh, and that's the ability to remap the YouTube button that is on the face of your controller. And while I think most people will probably find YouTube the most handy feature here, maybe YouTube TV for someone like myself that uses YouTube TV a lot would rather that button go to YouTube TV or YouTube Music. And to change that, all you have to do is long press that button a nice little UI comes up and you select which service you would rather have that button mapped to. Speaking of YouTube, a really handy shortcut that a lot of people don't realize is available when you're watching YouTube videos on your Chromecast is the ability to actually like and thumbs up and all of that kind of stuff you would normally do on your phone uh, whenever you are watching a video on your television. So I'm just gonna click into the first thing that's here and again, when you're looking at something on your phone, you have the ability to just scroll down and hit your thumbs up button uh, or subscribe to the channel. Well, you have all those abilities here too if you know where to look. All you have to do is start using your directional keys on your remote, click down and right back up above the slider and you have captions. You can click into the channel here or if you go to the more menu, you can change your quality. You can thumbs up, thumbs down. You can subscribe to the channel and all that kind of stuff that you normally would do on your phone. And it's really handy because a lot of times you'll sit and watch multiple things on the Chromecast that you would normally watch on your phone. And you have all the same abilities to interact with these videos just like you would on your phone with the Chromecast with Google TV. And our final quick trick is the ability to quickly delete applications. 
The Chromecast doesn't come with a whole lot of storage, and so it's nice to know how to quickly go through and delete stuff. Now, granted, you could use the shortcut we talked about earlier, go to your settings, dig down into your applications, and delete them that way. Or, say you're done with Disney Plus and you don't want it anymore. All you have to do is long press the center button for just a second, move, open, and view details. We're gonna view details, and right from here, you'll be able to go in and uninstall the application just like that. All right, guys. Well, that's it for our five best Chromecast with Google TV remote tricks. If you like this video, go down there and give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and make sure and ring the notification icon as well. If you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one until next time, we'll see you.